Today I'm going to show you how I wired up my 42 inch curved light bar to my Thule crossbars. Here we got the empty Thule crossbar, the weather stripping removed. Went to the hardware store, got some slotted bolts. I don't know exactly what you'd call them, but I got two for each side. Just slide those in. Here I have a Rhino Rack LED light bar mount. They have two of these on their website. One is $60 and one is $90. I ordered both of them and they're the exact same thing. So obviously I sent the expensive one back. I heated up with a torch and bent the bracket a little bit so it would fix to a curved light bar because this is made for a straight light bar. All you gotta do is slide those bolts to match up the bracket, push it down, slide it back, insert the weather stripping, Of course, that would be the most difficult part. Let's put on your Loctite washers. We're gonna loosely put on our bolts. You're going to want to leave these bolts loose on both sides so when you put the light bar on you can slide it back and forth and get it centered with your windshield or the center of your car. Um, I just took this one off for display purposes and I left the other side fixed so it's pretty much set up and centered. I'm going to line it up, secure the passenger side first and then come secure the driver side. I tightened up the passenger side of the light bar to the bracket. Now I'm gonna tighten up the driver side. Move this. My only complaint about this light bar is the hardware is not stainless steel. It started to rust out a little bit, but that's after two years of use, so it's not that big of a deal. I've also had no condensation issues. This light bar also came with a two year warranty. So even if it did, just send it back and get it replaced. While I'm tightening the light bar down, I'm gonna get it centered. Now that the light bar is attached to the crossbar, I'm going to insert the weather stripping. Probably should have done that first. Oh, that was the other side. We all make mistakes. Now I'm going to tighten the bracket down. Light bar is starting to raise as I'm tightening it down. I might come back and adjust the light bar. So as I tighten down the light bar bracket, 
the LED light bar lifted up a little bit. So I'm gonna go back and adjust the light bar one more time so it points directly forward. From here, I took the LED light harness and I ran it under the foot boot of the roof rack. It's not under there now, I'm gonna fix that. Here's where I would also recommend adding a quick disconnect. So if you ever wanted to take your roof rack off or you just had the crossbars with an LED light bar, you could just disconnect it real quick and unbolt the light bar and take it off. I ran the wiring harness down the window trim. All you got to do is just pull back a little bit. Some of you are probably wondering, does it leak? Do you get water inside? I've had this on for two years now and I haven't had any water issues. Believe me, I kept an eye on that like a hawk when I first installed it. Just pop this up, just like so. I'm not going to completely remove it. I don't think I ever did. Let's see the wiring harness just right underneath the window trim all the way down wedge it under the foot pack a little bit slide the rest of this down Making sure everything's secure. Here's the passenger side for reference. Um, I've seen some people put caulk or tape this off. That's on you. Do what you want to do. There's a small hole on the passenger side for reference. And here's the driver side for reference. Coming in through the fender, I just ran along the headlight, put the rest of the wiring harness and the relay on the side of the battery. You got about two by six inches worth of room to tape up the harness and shove it in there. One of these wires is to the lower LED bar. One of them is to the upper LED bar, as well as you got two grounds for the upper and lower LED bar. And from the power side of the wiring harness, ran it back up and around and then through the firewall. I got another video on my channel explaining how I ran the cabling through the firewall. So you can check that out. After we run the cable, that's gonna go to the switch through the firewall. We're gonna pop off the rubber trim, remove the side panel. I ran the switch cable up through here Took out one of the factory switches that I was not using. And wired it like so. Black on top, red in the middle, white on the bottom. This isn't the switch that the light bar came with. I had some other switches laying around and I wanted to make them look all the same. Expand. You can mount your switch wherever you want to, but this is just where I mounted mine. Pop everything back together. If you got a wobble in your weather stripping, just rub it back and forth. It'll even itself out. That's how I installed my LED light bar on my fuel crossbars on my roof rack. Turn off the garage. All right, turning off the garage.